I think it's going to be very interesting about the next generations and what they focus on in their jobs, in their skills, uh, in, in, the, in our economy. Um, but a lot of the focus on globalisation seems to be on, um, on the economy. And uh, I guess that's probably where we have most concerns because from a union perspective, uh, we're seeing jobs go offshore. We're um, seeing, uh, constantly hearing that uh, overseas workers are cheaper, that uh, production is cheaper. Uh, so we have to, as, a, as an economy, look after, I think, our own workers and uh, our own labour market here. We have to be very careful about driving down wages and driving down quality of life and driving down living conditions. And I think the way we can do that is to be smart about how we can compete. We heard one of the speakers today talk about uh, looking at clusters. Um, industry clusters. So Australia has to say, okay, what is it that we can provide this globalised economy um, efficiently at a good price uh, that maintains our standard of living, that maintains employment? Australia needs, of course, to have a strong and robust economy. It needs to have the interests of its citizens at heart and it needs to uh, make sure that the quality of life and the standard of living here is maintained. We don't want globalisation to become a race to the bottom. So the question is, where do we fit in this globalised world? And as I said before, we have to be smart about that. We have to think about what can we offer the world? What can we contribute to the global economy? That's going to benefit, well, I guess not only Australia, but the global markets as well. I don't think we're a gated community. Australia is a land built on immigration. We have always welcomed um, overseas workers. We have always welcomed people from other lands. I think where we're going wrong is down this pathway of temporary migration. If we have skill shortages, if we really need those skills, let's bring people in, let's bring them in as permanent migrants, let's welcome them and establish them so that those skills are here for life and that they can contribute to our economy and, and to our culture. Uh, for the Australian Union movement, permanent migration is a much better answer than temporary migration where uh, uh, we bring in lots of workers, we get lazy about skilling our own, we don't pay attention to our young unemployed people, we uh, don't invest in apprenticeships and skills because it's just much easier and cheaper to bring in a tranche of workers um, from overseas. So, you know, whilst we welcome migration where there are serious skill shortages and we need them, bring those people in by all means and let them settle here. But if there are ways we can invest and build our own workforce, uh, let's do that as well.